subscribe, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. What's the deal, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Taz. I'm back with another video, man. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to turn that notification bell on either. So today, as you can see by the title, man, I just want to go over five cheap mods you can do to make your Camaro faster. Yeah, I'm at the car wash. I was cleaning my car. You know, that's why I was doing the walk around. That way, you know, y'all can see how clean it is. But I'm going to get straight to the point, man. So one, first thing you should do is tires, man. It's not really, you know, a mod to make your car fast you know but if you plan on you know doing mods and adding more power to your car you don't want to stay on the stock tire stock tires i think they're like michelin i don't know like what they really are but i think they're like something good years i can look at my front but i really just don't feel like getting out because i just washed my car for an hour but first thing you want to do is get tires um you don't want to stay on the stock tires, you know, like, I would always go wider, you know, if you're getting more power, you know, it's better, you know, to have wider tires, you know, better traction than after a lot of the, the tires that come on the car, they don't really, you know, be the best tires. So, you know, I recommend Mickey Thompson's. I had them on my car. They're probably the best tires I had on my car. But if not Mickey Thompson's, I would say Sonitos, um, uh, the Toyos, the Triple H's. I would say them three I, I recommend, you know, the most because I had Mickey Thompson's and them was the best ones I had. I got needles right now and they actually last like way longer. Like my Mickey Thompson's, them only lasted me about literally like two months. You know, I, I didn't really burn out in them either. I would go, you know, with them three brands. Um, the second thing you want to do to your car, like the first real mod that I did to my car that I really recommend is getting a cold air intake, man. If you don't know what a cold air intake is, if you look at my last video, I showed it to you. You know, I really don't feel like getting out because I just cleaned my car for, you know, a whole hour plus. But I had a Rotofab. I'll drop a picture of it right now. And there is a lot of different cold air intakes you could get for your car but i did my research and i watched a lot of videos you know on people that you know that that got both you know and i was actually about to get a k and then you know i don't want to talk bad about a brand or nothing you know but i was about to get a k and then but i watched a lot of videos and a lot of people were saying to get roto fat because you know they're they're the best and that you get the most gains from them so i got a roto fat for you know my camaro it cost me if i can remember it was 466 after tax if you didn't watch my last video i made a video you know about everything i did every mod and every cosmetic mod and i actually showed how much everything was if you know if anybody still wonder you know where i got some of my stuff from or you know what's all I done in my car if you watched my last video you will know everything about my car so i just want to say that real quick before i keep going yeah so i got a roto fab and like I said, to me, as I did my research and everything, to me, I feel like it's the best cold air intake you could get. But so, I would always recommend that, like, you know, as the first mod, you know, before you do, you know, a lot of other expensive mods, you know. You know, there's, like I said, there's a lot of brands, man, like, that, that do it. So you can always look it up, do your research before you just buy it. When you don't have to get a Rotofab, just because I said get a Rotofab. Also, three. The third mod I would say you should do to your car for power is get headers say headers because you know if you do your research like i did my research and you look headers actually give you a good gang and it make your car sound way better that's why my car sound as good as it does now you know even though i do have the exhaust but you know my car actually sound way better and it drives you know like it sounds you know it sounds better in the drive you know i can feel the power way more with the headers so definitely recommend getting headers they have all type of headers they have short headers uh they got long tube headers you know they got different type of headers and like i said along with the along with the cold air intake there's a lot of other brands that make uh headers you know it's not just cooks you know i just went that route because you know like i said i always do my research on everything and i just feel like i should have got cooks a lot of people you know in a lot of shops you know that do or you know recommend headers for the Camaros. they always recommend cooks you know and i wouldn't you know not get cooks you know if every shop recommended you know what i'm saying so 
That's the third mod I should say you should do to your car to get power is headers, man. I don't really want to say this is a mod for, you know, power, you know, to, to make your car fast. But you do get a little power after, you know, a tune. And you do get, you know, a better sound just like headers. I would recommend uh, exhaust, the actual back. Or, you know, a cat back. Full exhaust, you know. I would for sure say get, you know, exhaust. That's the route you for sure want to go. Like me, I just got an actual back. And it was only literally $600. Probably like $630, something like that after tax. And I got MBRP. With the MBRP. MBRP exhaust and with the Cooks headers, my car actually sound real good. I could drop some clips for y'all if y'all want to hear. Oh, Alright, and the fifth thing I would say you should do to make your car fast, you know, is get a tune. Either, you know, computer tune, dyno tune, you know, get a tune. That's what I did, you know. After I got the mods, what I went and did, I went and got a dyno tune. <laughs> So that's the most accurate you know it may be you know a little bit more expensive but i recommend getting a dyno tune i don't know literally everything about tuning you know i just know you know the basics i know what i should know about tuning so i don't want to tell you to tune your car by yourself if you really don't know what you're doing you know i know some people that do it but there's people that really you know know what they're doing with cars so the fifth thing i always say do is tune your car search up dyno or dyno tuning shops by you you know like they know all about it if you don't know about it talk to them you can learn more about it you know like you go to shops you talk to people that you know they'll tell you everything you need to know you know it's not nothing to be embarrassed about if you don't really know everything you should just do your research bro like literally all you have to do is do your research but i just want to say in this video man hopefully i help somebody you know that plan on getting a camaro or you know plan on doing some mods to that car or you know never even done mods to that car because i feel like this will really help them so i'm gonna see you on the next one man i'm in this video right here man i'm out <laughs>